Check, 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 testing, testing. This is Mr. Fun, the coding. This is the um, first expose, or uh, I don't know what you want to call it, not expose, but um, example experience of a trading situation. Today is Tuesday, October the 17th. 2023, 6.24 p.m. Um, California time, Pacific Standard Time or Pacific Time, however they altered the situation. Um, doing a test on a trade and trading in general. Um, fortunate enough to have someone to mentor me through these things and work together on just you know learning about trading and stuff like that from a beginning perspective so when we launch the thug trading everybody will be able to um, really gear up for professional successful trading so this is the s p 500 um, started from monday that's Tuesday, which is today, and then that's Wednesday going into tomorrow. This little box um, is an Asian session. So look, where, where I am, you see this here, this box here, and where the mouse is at the bottom. This is where I was this morning. This is where I was this morning before taking my daughter to school. I, now, keep in mind, around this time here, 1645, so that's um, 445, and then whatever time this... Uh, whatever time this server is. So uh, I'm not gonna check it right now, but I take her to school at about 7.45 or something like that, 6.45, whatever. Well, I'll get the time and update it. But long story short, I was right here a few minutes before taking her to school. I set my stop, uh, like when you see the moving average chart, here I set this is the same chart just with moving average and TDI I move TDI down a little bit. I had my stop here. I've got the exact thing, whatever, but just for the purpose of this uh, video, I set my stop down here. And before I left and with the with the understanding that this thing was about to go up. Now, I'm not talking about what techniques I'm using or whatever to make those determinations, but what it is, is I thought it was going to go up. I set my stop, but I didn't set the stop low enough. And I looked at it and I said, I should make this stop a little lower, but I didn't. So I left to take her to school. And when I came back in, I saw this long bar going up. I'm like, oh man, right on, I'm in the, in, the, in the money. And then I got down a little farther to where my situation is and it stopped me out. So all of this was not, you know, on my, on my thing. But that's not what this video is about so much. That is just the beginning. This is a trading video. Um, you know, I've got a little bit of action on the, the, the direction of uh, things for more or less. I'm not going to make this long. The direction of things more or less, but I need, you know, to refine it and get some help. I've been doing okay, but then okay turned to no sir. Really fucked up. Oh, excuse my language. Really bad. So anyway, all of this was today.
And then when it got to this level here, up at the top, when it got up to the top, I got it back into the trade, or I got in the trade, because this one was stopped out. So I got in the trade coming down on a 15 minute, and I have to uh, get all the details of where I entered the trade going down. But it was uh, satisfactory, it was a good trade. But this video is about, after this trade, I got out of the trade before it got to this EMA, this white line EMA, okay? So I got out a little here in profit let it cross over the red one, I let it cross over the blue one, and I got out. So I was in profit a little bit. Pull back right here. All right, pull back right there. And so it's coming back down. Now, I got in around here, I waited. I waited for the candle to close. It was this candle, because I made sure this candle closed below the white line. I waited for this candle to open below the white line. And I took the trade to sell. And it reversed on me. So I'm going to turn this off now and show you the uh, other part of it. Okay, so back again. Mr. Fun, the coding, the trading. Technology helps us grow. T-H-U-G, the coding. All right, so, so yeah. Um, I got in here. I got in here. So, and I'm, I'm keeping it like this because we are gonna go over market structure and stuff. So I can see how this works without the moving averages. I'm not knocking moving averages. I actually, uh, it helped me out a lot, but it, you know, it may be a handicap at the same time for reasons that I'm about to address. So I got in here thinking it's still coming down. Now, when I go over, I'll show you what I saw and what has been my issue. This is the same chart where I got in here, got in below this white line, and I'm gonna mark it real quick with, uh, I'll put this down here, just for uh, visual purposes. Because when I go to the smaller time frame, or lower time frame, So on the lower time frame, this is the same as this basically on the 15 minute. This is this. So boom, I got in on the lower time frame. I let that, this blue line is the white line here, which is no white line because I took it off, but. Anyway, so this is this, and I'm in the trade thinking it's coming more down, right? And then it reversed on me. So I'm like, okay, well, because of the way I learned the information, it's going to be a bounce. 
on the blue line. So I waited. It pulled back. And then it went to the white line. And obviously it went way up here. Right? So I'm thinking it's just going to hit this and come, come back, back down. But it completely reversed. And now, in retrospect, and I, you know, be more attentive to it, it appears that this is a head and shoulder, shoulder here, reverse head and shoulder, head there, shoulder here. But during the time I'm not, I, I didn't see it, and you know, I'm just like, oh man, so it went up. Oh, up, up, up. It's like all the way like 50 bucks or something. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Pullback. And I didn't like it. I didn't think it was normal or whatever. But then it came, obviously came back down and I closed the trade uh, in the negative because it never got back down to here. So that's the first one and I'll make it a little more clear information. Um, so this is it here, you know, noticing if it's uh, head and shoulders at this point, you know, I obviously didn't, but you know, So that's that on that first trade. And again, I don't want to make these videos too long, but my concern is dealing with that bounce that goes beyond the bounce and pullback and how much pullback is sensible. Like if you think the trade is going against you when to get out. Because I've been thinking and I was working on something, I'll take 20, 20, 20 bucks and get out if it goes against me. But uh, it seemed to work for a minute and then I, I don't know, my whole system just started falling apart for the past few days. Um, and it due to just losing, you know, sanity, control, jumping in on different things. But I need to refine it, and I like to refine it on um, market structure. So yeah. It let me know if this kind of format is going to be all right to uh, to help me learn better. 